So this will be the first video that we're sending out, but we'll do this monthly and uh, to talk about the coffees that we're sending out to our subscribers, uh, our monthly subscribers. So this month, uh, which is uh, March, we have selected a very, very nice coffee from Marisabel and Moises in Honduras. They are south in Honduras in a small town called Marcala. And uh, the coffee is the Bourbon Seal, uh, which is quite interesting to talk about because uh, it's a name that they have uh, actually invented for the coffee and the variety is actually a geisha. Um, but uh, they like to differentiate it a little bit because uh, they have a geisha that is very, very nice. And then this is a little different and we'll talk a little bit about that. So with me today, I have Ben Symes, a roaster and yeah, potato. <laughs> Uh, let's taste the coffee, Ben. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. You can definitely taste that it is a geisha coffee. Yeah. Yeah. It's sweet. Has uh, that fruit like papaya, tangerine kind of notes, flavors. A little um, bit more muted than the geisha, maybe. Yeah. 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 Not as much acidity, I think. No. But um, yeah, really sweet coffee. A little sweeter profile. Yeah. So the reason why uh, Marisabella Moises calls this the Bourbon Seal mm. is um, they have farms uh, in a big area around Marcala. So they have like small farms that are spread out uh, through a big area, right. about 200 hectares total. And um, oh. on the uh, higher elevations, uh, they have some geisha and they have planted geisha on lower elevations just to see how, you know, mm. it was a new plant for them. They planted, started planting this 10 years ago. And uh, they wanted to see where the plant kind of mm. uh, thrived more, if it was up in the altitudes or lower down. Yeah. So they have like farms at, uh, you know, 13, 1400 meters and up to 1650, uh, 1650 meters. And uh, then we've been cupping this coffee for a couple of years now and it always is like the higher elevated coffees, just, they're just more intense. Mm. Uh, so they separate those lots and yeah. sell that as the geisha. Um, and they won the Cup of Excellence, it was in 2017, was it? Yeah, yeah. It was last year. Yeah. Uh, with the geisha. And then they still think this is a much better coffee than their normal uh, and, but And they want to sell it, but they're not able to get the same price and they kind of want to differentiate the marketing for the coffee. Mm. So that's yeah. why they renamed it to Bourbon Seal. Yeah. 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 So we can call it the mini geisha or geisha's little sister or whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I really like the coffee, so I buy quite a lot of it, and um, uh, because I think it's, but, but for a little bit lower price than the Geisha, um, I think it's a really delicate, nice coffee. Mm. Yeah, uh, a little bit sweeter. So, been saving this because this was harvested in you know February, March in 2017, but since it's uh, shade dried and uh, uh, stored in Grain Pro at origin, vacuum packed before we export, mm -hmm. we keep it quite cool in our storage. Uh, you can't really yeah. taste that it's a year old. No, it's tasting great, really yeah. fresh. Yeah, yeah. so um, uh, I've been saving it for a good occasion and I think, you know, what what's a better occasion than celebrating our new roastery, which we're in now, and that's why you're hearing some keyboards, because we have a temporary office in here with Ida and Christina sitting and working. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to roast this coffee on our new Loring and uh, just develop the sweetness mm. uh, to its full potential. Do you like yeah. the coffee? Yeah, love it. Yeah, like you said, I think it's a the flavor profile is a lot more fruit sweet uh, than you would get from like the the regular sort of katuais yeah. growing in the same region. So yeah, yeah, the katuai is more like chocolatey, nutty. Uh, this has a little bit more fruit and like a little bit more acidity, but not mm. as much as the normal geisha. What do you think is the difference between this uh, or their geishas and, uh, for instance, the geishas from Panama? In, yeah. in terms of flavor. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think like the the ones grown in Honduras that we're buying, they they more f they have more of that kind of tropical fruit, papaya sort of flavor. Um, not so much of the citrus and that kind of those acidic kind of notes that you get um, from the Panama ones, the Esmeralda and yeah. really famous ones. Yeah. A bit more body maybe? A bit more body, yeah, more mouthfeel, a little rounder. Yeah. Um, yeah, not as like intense kind of like citric flavors. But, yeah, yeah. 
Mm. And I also always get a little bit of the green bell pepper flavor. Yeah, which we get in all the varieties yeah. sort of from that region. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, so March Coffee, Bourbon Sioux from uh, Maricela Moises, which are, you know, the loveliest uh, farmers around. Ah, uh, they're beautiful people. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I hope you like the coffee. Ha, ha, ha.